guys welcome back to my channel do dance world and in today's video we're gonna be doing a week of different curly hairstyles the first hairstyle that i'll be doing in this video will be like that claw clip hairstyle from what i'm talking about um yeah so let's get into it okay guys so the first style style we're doing is the claw clip puff which is what i've decided to call this hairstyle here's me just getting my middle part straight because you don't want a crooked middle part and I'm just sectioning off or seeing how big the width of the section needs to be for the slicked down parts. And I'm putting it away so it doesn't mess with the other parts of the hair. I'm putting up the midsection of my hair. The back of my head was um, put into like a low pony. Okay, if I'm being honest, I've had this big jug of Eco Styler Gel for like several years. And it's the Argan Oil version. And yeah, since I've like stopped using, you know, Eco because like I stopped styling my hair. I've, I've barely made a dent in this tub, but I think we'll make a dent in this video. Basically what I'm gonna do is we're gonna slick down these and put it behind my ear, basically, yeah. Here's me just spraying down those sections so that they are more um, malleable. I can brush them because you're not supposed to brush dry curly hair. So I wet my hair and I sprayed it with water, of course, and here is me just adding the Eco Styler Gel and brushing it down again. I then go in with some um, Got To Be Spray at some point, yeah, here, and just really get it to stay down and stiff and don't have any like flyaways or anything like that. I then used this um, Shine and Jam gel for my edges and I just souped my edges with an edge brush of course and I did the same thing that I did to one side to the other side. Water, gel, got to be, edges. Those are the steps. That's what I did. And I um, slicked them and then secured them to the side of my head with some bobby pins. Okay, so I have pulled these strands out of the puff and we're gonna take them down. I twisted them so they wouldn't like just be in my face crazy and all that, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spray them with water. I'll take some gel on between my fingertips. There's a lot of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist it like messy. I'm gonna twist it messy. Though I didn't show it, I did put some gel at the back of my head and brushed it up. And in this clip, you'll see me spray some Got to Be spray. In this clip, I'm defining my curls by spraying water and applying a Shea Moisture mask and um, detangling my hair with a tangle teaser to just get some more definition at the top of my head so it doesn't look dry. Okay guys, so I just got back from school and this is like the final result of the hair. The back of my head kind of got frizzy and that's because I didn't gel it up enough because I wasn't really trying to put too much effort in it but yeah the next hairstyle is what i'll be doing tonight which will be a slick back the next hairstyle we're doing is a low ponytail i would like to think that everyone knows how to do one of these but i do mine quite different i don't um just slick my whole head down and then just put it in a ponytail i do it in sections because my hair isn't thick but it it can be difficult sometimes so i just sprayed water added some shea moisture masks to the front sections of my hair and slipped them down and tied them off with the um, hair tie and then when I got to the back I sprayed the whole perimeter of the back of my head with water add Shea Moisture mask which is going to be linked down in the description box below and I brushed it back I know my hair type may be different than yours and you might have to do more um maneuvering to get your hair to slick down this is just what I did with mine 
um, and then I applied some gel to the back and brushed it down. After taking out the hair ties, I applied gel to the front sections and brushed them back. In total for this hairstyle, in general, every time I do this hairstyle, I use about three hair ties. One hair tie for each section and I have three sections. The back section, the side section. And in this clip, I literally broke the hair tie, which is fine because I have multiple, but it's annoying. This may happen to you if you do it in these sections, in these three sections, you might break a hair tie trying to get it over all your hair, but it is what it is when it comes to curly hair, right? After the gel and all the brushing, I went in with some Got To Be Spray to once again seal everything in, get rid of any flyaways, and just make sure it looks completely slicked down. I, of course, went in with my Shine and Jam gel, which I really didn't mean to buy when I got it. I meant to get something totally different, but it's what I got, so I use it for my edges, and I'm just swooping down my edges and finishing off the look. The next hairstyle that I'll be doing is what I would call a slicked afro. What I'm doing here is taking a medium section from the sides of my head and slicking them down and leaving the rest of my hair out like an afro. So all you'll see me do is spray water onto the side sections, brush them down, apply gel, and secure it to the rest of my hair, aka the afro, with bobby pins. This might have been the hardest hairstyle on my head personally because my afro didn't want to hold the bobby pins but in the end it turned out all right and i think this hairstyle is pretty cute Because my hair was in a ponytail previously, the rest of my afro was stretched out. So I went in with a spray bottle and sprayed my hair with some water. I added this Shea Moisture Mask and went through my hair with a tangle teaser to define and detangle my strands so the top of my head wouldn't look dry. I'm calling this next hairstyle puff balls because I don't know what I would call it anyways. I parted off these two little strands in the front for later purposes and I pretended as if my hair was going to go up into a half a puff down but instead of just tying up the whole top of my head into a ponytail for itself I split it into two and made it into puff balls um, and secured it with hair ties. To make a puff ball I just take this square section you know medium sized section of hair twisted it up and then rolled it around itself and secured it with a hair tie. And for the rest of my hair, I sprayed it with some water and applied this Shea Moisture Mask and went through it with a tangle teaser to define the curls. For the front two sections that I left out, I sprayed it with water, applied some gel, and I just twisted it down so it would act as if they were loose strands. The last hairstyle that I have for y'all is an afro. These are some clips of me fresh out the shower applying some product to my afro. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.